Hi everyone, it's Katerina from Minecraft. I support the emotional well-being of children, young people and their families. I'm particularly passionate about supporting children and young people on the autism spectrum. Today I'd like to share with you how you can support the young people in your life with mandalas. Now, uh, colouring in mandalas is not just uh, an exercise in filling the picture in with a colour. You may have seen colouring books um, for mindfulness in, in shops. They're very popular right now. But um, I'd like to share with you a slightly different approach. So if you're not sure what a Mandela is, it's, it's usually a design in a, in a circle and I've got one here with me that has an animal, a lion in it and I have an animal for a reason. So how can Mandela help your child feel more peaceful, calmer and process their emotions? So mindfulness is what I teach and any activity which brings us to the present moment that helps us be in the here and now is in itself transformational, is in itself something that will find us, help us find instant calm, relax our nervous system, regulate our emotions. Now, colouring may not be for everyone. As we get older, as children grow older, they may not be interested in drawing and, and similar. However, what I like to bring in is always uh, an extra element. And I really love to work with animals with the animal kingdom. I find a lot of inspiration in, in nature and in the natural world. And the way I use mandalas with, with my clients is to find out first what it is that they need, as in perhaps they need um, a boost of self-confidence, perhaps their confidence is, is lacking. Or they've got something, a situation uh, or a circumstance in which they are required to be brave and courageous. Or they need more joy in their life and um, bring in uh, playfulness. And that's where I turn to the animals. So you can look at each animal as a symbol. You can look at each animal and realize what their strengths and weaknesses are. There are traits in them that we associate with say in a lion so when you think of a lion what is the character that kind of jumps out at you so a lions are they're majestic they're they're brave they're strong they look after their pack um, when you think of an animal that is um, playful and full of joy I always think of dolphins and I could go on. So if your child um, needs a little boost, say in confidence, they need a little bit of lion in them, you could try and find a, a mandala of a, of a lion 
in you know online there's lots of free resources available online and get them to think about you know what when they think about a lion what do they um, what are the characteristics that they associate with lion and as they color in the the image of, of a lion, the mandala, they naturally tap into the qualities of that animal. Now, coloring in a mandala is not just about quickly filling it with color of the expected color that the animal would look. It's very much a space that is open for creativity and imagination. So it certainly doesn't need to be, you know, a, for example, the lion with a kind of sandy color mane. It can be any color that the child feels this lion should have engaging the creative side of our brain in itself is very therapeutic and because we switch from the analytical side of the brain to the creative side of the brain and it's the creative side of the brain that helps us think of solutions to to problems when your child is coloring a mandala it's a great opportunity also for them to focus on their breath and that could, that's where you could come in and gently just remind them and check in that they're not holding their breath that they breathe freely through breath we release a lot of tension in our body, relax our mind, so another great tool. And lastly, giving your full attention to colouring within the lines is extremely mindful. Some emotions like frustrations may come up when we're not managing to maybe stay within the lines or you can notice that your, your grip tenses, your finger tense. And again, an opportunity to become aware of it, become, become mindful of the fact that your, your body has created tension and then with the breath, relax. I hope this has been useful. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or would like guidance. Thank you so much for watching.